Hi there, welcome to my studio. I'm Lana Hazelwood and I'm an artist. Today's tutorial is really, really fun. You're definitely going to want to have a go. It's called Ring Tailed Lima Drawings. They're so cute. Let me know if you have a go. Have fun! Hello everyone! I'm really excited to show you this tutorial. So, we're going to be drawing ring tailed lemurs. I love these creatures, they're so full of character. Let me show you how we're going to do it. So, I've got a small piece of paper here and I've got it uh, portrait rather than landscape, so this way up. And I've got my pencil, I've got a black felt tip pen and for my tin of pencil crayons here I've just picked out the grey and a white and an orange. I needed the white because my um, card today is coloured so I'm going to need the white to pick out some bits. So let's get started then on our ring-tailed lemur. It's going to be quite a loose drawing so don't worry about sort of being fussy over the lines. We're going to start with an upside down triangle shape. Um, I'm just pressing, I'll press on a little bit darker. Normally I press on quite lightly, but I'll press on darker just so you can see the shape of it. So an upside down triangle. And then underneath that, it's going to be a sort of larger pointy triangle. There we go, about like that. And that's going to make up the head and the body of our ring tailed lemur. And then we're going to go nice big curvy line right up to the top of our page and that's going to be the lemur's tail and then from there I think um, we can put some ears on so I'm just going to have a little line sort of continuing that line and it's just going to go around like that and same on this side sort of continuing that angle that line up and then coming around like that so these are just little marks just giving us an idea of where these bits and bobs are going to be. And then the lines down here, this is going to be the back leg. So um, it's going to have a nice round sort of a hill shape, just like that. And then lines coming along the bottom. I'm going to leave it there with my pencil. I don't want to be too fussy with the pencil today. So I'm going to go straight ahead and get my black felt tip pen now. And that's where we're going to put the detail on. These lines are just a little guide for us. So coming back to the lemur's head, at the bottom of the triangle here, I'm going to draw and colour in, it's kind of a diamond or a wonky square maybe, just at the bottom of the triangle. I'm going to colour that in and that is the lemur's nose and mouth part there, that's sort of the bottom of the lemur's, lemur's head. And then I'm going to put two big round eyes, put a dot in the middle of both. Ah, we're, got, we're getting character now. <laughs> I always think as soon as you put the eyes in, the character starts to emerge. And we're going to do a line for the top of the head. It's a little bit wibbly wobbly. I want that because I want it to look a bit furry. And I'm going to do the line up the ears and then round the side here I'm just going to do some little dashed lines because I want it to look kind of fluffy and hairy and then I'm going to put a couple of stripes along the top of his head there just to show a sort of darker area okay so I'm going to leave the head alone now and I'm going to do this line coming down the back just a bit wibbly wobbly nothing too straight or fussy and the same down this line here okay I'm going to go over that hill and that line going horizontally along the bottom of the body join that up there as well and I'm going to put a couple of little dashes here just to sort of suggest toes I'm certainly not going in there trying to do lots of detail just a little suggestion and then here in this space I'm just going to do vertical lines one two and that is to suggest front legs sort of um, side by side there at the front but it's just a suggestion I'm not going to go in there and draw every little detail so now for the lemur's tail 
I'm going to colour in the stripes, the black stripes, and I'm going across the sort of width of the tail each time. So it's a little scribbly, scribbly mark, adding thickness to that tail all the way up to the top. There we go. And now I think it's time to add a little bit of colour. So I'm going to get my grey and this is going to be most of the lemur's fur. So I'm going to start at the top of the head and I'm going to shade in the top of his head. Nice and loose, nothing too neat. I'm doing a little bit of his ears but I'm leaving part of it blank at the moment because that's going to be white for his ears there. Now onto the main body. So you can see I'm using quite rough marks with my colouring because I want it to look a little bit messy. That's part of the character of this lemur. It can look a little bit scruffy and a bit furry. And let's do those front legs as well. Okay. Now I'm going to get my white and I'm going to do a little bit down this front bit here, which I think would be the lemur's chest. So a little lighter patch there. And just around the nose and the ears. Again, nothing too neat. And then up the tail as well. But before I do that, I'm just going to rub out my pencil line from before. So it was there as a guide but we don't need that in the way now. So I'm going to go ahead and colour those white stripes in. Not being too neat. If I go out of the lines a little bit, that is fine. We're adding character as we go. A couple of bits of rubber there. Okay, so he's nearly there. Oh, he looks so cute. What really makes this lemur look really lemurish is the orange eyes. So that's why I needed my orange. So I'm just going to go around that pupil and that one and look how much that pops now. So there is our first lemur sitting nice and alert. And I'm going to show you a different position because these are so cute to draw. So got my next piece of paper back with pencil and in the middle of the page I'm going to draw that upside down triangle shape for the lemur's head once more but this time when I come to draw the lemur's body it's a little bit fatter this time and I'm going to finish off the bottom with this pointy bit here so it's almost like a fat tie shape at the moment so have a go at drawing that shape and that's going to be the sort of basis for our lemur. He's going to be sitting facing towards us and lemurs sometimes sit in this really comical sort of meditating almost position. It looks brilliant. You must look them up on um, YouTube or in a book because they look so cute. So that's the sort of position we're drawing them in this time. So the arm is going to stick out at a kind of right angle to the body. Just about like that. And the same at this side. It sticks out more or less at a right angle to the side of the body. A couple of lines just to suggest the fingers. Toes, fingers. Yeah, not sure which. <laughs> and then the back legs. So, nice curved shape either side for these hind legs. And then they're going to stick out almost a bit like a frog's almost. There we go. And again, a few lines just to suggest at the toes. Okay. Back up to the head. So I'm going to put those ear shapes in again. And then let's do our black pen. Enough of the pencil lines. Oh, almost forgot. Nice curved line. Can you see that? There we go. Nice curved line for the tail as well. Okay, it looks a bit like a sitting mouse at the moment, so we need to add that special lemur character. 
So once again, down at the bottom of the nose, I'm just going to block in that little wonky square, that diamond shape. I'm going to put the eyes in nice and big. Two dots in the middle. Go over the top of the head. A little bit scruffy and wonky, that's fine. And the ears with those dashed lines round. Okay, now I'm going to go over that arm shape. A couple of lines to suggest the toes or fingers. And then there we go, there's that line down for the body. Same at this side. Line sticking out for that hand. A couple of suggested fingers there. And another line down for that side. Over we go, those two sort of hill shapes for the back legs. One, two, three little lines there to suggest toes. There we go. And I think we just might need, there we go, a line down the middle there to suggest those legs being folded over. Okay, I think I'm ready to colour. Oh, nearly forgot the tail. Let's not forget that. So, just like before, I'm going to scribble in those bands of black fur on the tail with just some scribbled lines. Okay, so now for the colour, I'm going to get my grey to start again. Ooh. Just wanted to add those little stripes to the top of the head just for a bit of shading. So, colouring in the fur on the lemur's head. And I'm going to leave the rest of that to shade in white. I'm going to do his arms, four legs. <laughs> Both of those with my scruffy colouring. I'm going to do just underneath his nose there and then this area of his tummy I'm going to do white so I'm going to come down the side with my scruffy colouring and down this side with that scruffy colouring. Okay and then round the bottom of his tummy as well. Okay, nearly there, so I'm just going to do the back legs now. There's one. And there's the other. And I'm going to go in with my white around those little areas that I left on the face. And I'm going to do that tummy. And then if I just remove those pencil lines that I put on before. And then I'm going to just finish off there by doing the white bands on the tail. I love these little lemur characters. They're so cute, full of character. So the last thing to do with my trusty orange is just really make that lemur pop by adding in his orange eyes. And that really just is the final touch. So there we go. Those are my two little lemur drawings, both sitting down full of character, not too neat, not too fussy. And if you have a go at this, there's loads of different um, positions that you could try drawing the lemur in. I had a, uh, lots of different goes of having lemurs sitting down or climbing or walking. They're really great fun to have a go at. I'd love to know if you have a go yourself, please let me know. Okay, have fun and I'll see you next time.